welcome every just wanted to welcome everybody to Michael's Community Classroom and welcome for a Karen Cakes product showcase. Uh, we're here today with Tamara Kelly, Moogly Blog, and we have a bunch of great products to show off today and talk you through. Um, you may have seen them at your local Michael's store. You may not have seen them yet. You want to get a little bit more details before you go out and stock up. So that's what we're here for. We're just going to be walking you through um, all of the newest yarns and really just helping you get to know them a little bit better before you start stitching your next project. Perfect. And I'll pass things over to you, Tamara. All right, well, thank you so much. I'm Tamara from Moogly, and I'm super excited to talk to you about the new Karen Cakes that you can find at your local Michaels and at Michaels Online. All of these yarns are exclusive to Michaels, so they are a wonderful opportunity to try something new and really just explore some new yarns. There's some wonderful ones to choose from, and I've got a bunch of them in front of me today. So the first one we wanna to talk to you about is honestly, probably one of my favorites of these yarns. The texture on this stuff is amazing. These are Karen Cloud Cakes. Let me show you what the front of the label looks like there. That's the label you want to look for in store. And there are some promotional colors that are only going to be available for a limited time. And then there are some wonderful colors that are going to be sticking around for a while. But once again, let me get those up there. Can you see the beautiful texture on these? They're fuzzy, they're gorgeous, and they are so incredibly soft and squishy. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this one. This is a four medium weight yarn, and it is 100% polyester. You can get all this gorgeous texture and fuzz with no animal fibers, which is so wonderful for those who have issues with animal fibers. You can see this is a really fun colorway. This one is called... Let me get it right here, Poison Ivy. And this one is called Lagoon. These have a phenomenal yardage. Let me tell you a little bit about them. These have 8.5 ounces, 240 grams, 760 yards per cake. That is huge. Absolutely, you could make so many things. Just a couple of these would be enough to make a sweater, probably up to about at least a size medium. Um, three is gonna get you through most sweaters. Um, you know, as long as they're not those super long ones, of course, but it is just such a phenomenal yarn with such phenomenal yardage. And you can see the way the colors are set up here in this cake, this is going to be a self-striping yarn. So with yarns like this, with cakes, most people prefer to pull from the middle to start pulling from out there, but you always have the option to pull from the outside too. And that's so important when you're working with cakes like this, if you want to color match, if you're using more than one skein. So if you were working your way through, and you know you ended here on the green and you wanted to start another project, you could go ahead and start wherever in that cake you need to, to color match. You can pull from the outside or start again from the inside. If you think you've got enough green, whatever you wanna do, it's up to you. There is a really fun project here on the side. It looks like a blanket that only takes three balls of yarn, which is always amazing. So fantastic. And of course, the more yardage you have when you make a big project like that, the less ends you have to weave in. So I know that I'm really looking forward to giving this one a try. They recommend a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook or knitting needles, whichever you prefer. And once again, that is a four medium weight yarn that is 100% polyester. And that is the Karen Cloud Cakes. So Allison, do we have some patterns and things we can show off that people can make with their Karen Cloud Cakes? We do. Let me just... Perfect. So we have, this is the uh, better detail shot of the pattern on the label. And honestly, I, I really love this one. It just looks so scrumptious and in these really gorgeous neutrals. Um, I, I really love this one. <laughs> And I love that it really shows how wide those stripes are, even in crochet. I know as a crocheter, sometimes I get a little jealous of the knitters. They get much wider stripes, typically with a self-striping yarn. And this one is so generous. You can see how beautiful it looks um, in crochet as well. That You get some nice, solid chunks of color. Um, it's really beautiful, like you say, in the neutrals or in any of these bright colors, too. Yes. And that actually brings us to the next project, which... Oh man. Wow. 
talk about bright colors, really, yeah. really bold, really amazing. <laughs> And that's amazing because that's only done with four balls of yarn. You can see you've got an entire blanket with all those colors. You know, you think about that's what eight ball, eight ends to weave in, and you've created this amazing striping yeah. effect that is going to be so unique. It's incredible. And then we have another couple of detail shots where I really think you can see some of that texture and the mm. just absolute plushness of the yarn. Yeah, that is really beautiful. It's just, it, I don't know if it showed up as well as on camera as it does in person. If you definitely want to stop into your local Michaels and give this one a pet, this is one of those yarns where you just, you see it on the shelf and you just kind of start petting it. You have to just pet it yep. <laughs> the whole time. Absolutely. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And neutrals are so big right now. Um, I see a question popping up. Where are the patterns available? Of course, that's going to be question number one, right? Absolutely. And we will drop that link, um, but you can find all of these patterns on yarnspirations.com. Yes. And it looks like that Lurks Foot one might also be on the label. <laughs> so you can yes. definitely find that when we get the yarn. Absolutely. Yes. Um, and it turns out that one next to it, I don't know the name of it here. Actually, I do. Chevron Stripes Crochet Blanket is the one on the right. And that pattern is on the label of the uh, purple one here, the Lagoon. So you can definitely uh, look at your labels as well. And you'll be picking up those free patterns as you pick up your yarn. Amazing. Awesome. All right. So um, let's see. I know you were just presenting. So I wanted to see if we had any questions real quick regarding the uh, cloud cakes here. They had any oh, questions? a great question here. Um, I have some cloud cakes and I don't know what to make with it. <laughs> well, gosh, I mean, this is what's great about it, right? It's a four weight yarn. So we just saw it in a couple of blankets. Um, a medium weight yarn is great for everything from home decor to wearables for sure. Um, with this much yardage, you could do so many things. I think that if you wanted to do accessories for holiday gifts, you could get several probably out of one skein or one cake, I should say, um, which would be really fun. Um, but I know you were telling me about one of the ladies in your office made a sweater out of it. A sweater, a really gorgeous sweater. It was, yeah. she had that moment, like, like Tamara says, that um, she saw it the first time, picked it up, and was like this has to be a sweater because i just have to have it wrapped around me <laughs> absolutely Which, amazing yeah and i saw somebody say you know it can be you're right it's a good point it can be hard to get sweater quantities of something when you're in the store right because they have limited shelf space um but if you go on michaels.com i know i found i was able to find most if not all i think of the um, yarns we're talking about today are up on michaels.com. So that gives you a little bit more availability when you need to order a larger quantity of something. Now with 700 and what was it again? 760 yards? Yep. Yeah, you're, you're not going to need as many as you would with other projects, which does make it easier, but you can always order from michaels.com online when you do need, you know, larger quantities of yarn. That's a great way to go ahead and get that. You can check it out in person, you know, maybe pick, pick up one to start making your gauge swatch and figure out how many you're going to need. And then you've always got that option if you need to get some more. So that would be my tip for that. All right. So let's go ahead um, and move on. We've got so many yarns to get through. Up next is Karen or Karen Cotton Ripple Cakes. Let's get that. Yes. There's that label there. And I know this one has been a favorite of people's yes. for a while. Look at that. Look at that. Just a totally different than the last one. The last one was fuzzy but straight. This one's smooth, but a little crinkly inside the yarn itself. Let me see if I can pull up a little strand of it here. So we can show that just a little bit better. Get that to focus in there. So you guys see that twist that's built right into that yarn? That's going to give some really great motion and texture to any project, but it's going to have this amazing cotton feel. This one is 100% cotton, always a favorite of mine. Um, wonderful year round in the winter, if you're you know somewhere a little more south than Iowa and you want your garments to be a little bit cooler, this is a beautiful option and you can see this one also is self-striping, but not as long. You're not going to get as wide of stripes with this one. It's going to go through those colors a little bit quicker, um, but it also, because it's cotton, seems to be just by hand a little bit heavier. This one's also eight and a half ounces, 491 yards. This is a three 
lightweight yarn. So it's also just a little bit thinner there than the other one. You can see that is a thinner yarn. This is a three weight, which really is ideal for everything from home decor to garments. I know three weight is probably the favorite of designers for garments um, because it does work up so nice and drapey. And this one really has such beautiful colors. Um, this one I believe is available in six colors right now. And they're all sort of this um, sort of pastelish colorway, I'd say, don't you think so, Allie? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. They definitely have a little bit more, I think it's, you know, kind of that, I don't want to necessarily say marled effect, but the, mm -hmm. they all kind of have a white undertone to them. Yeah. It's, it's it really sort of like, a, yeah. Create really makes them really nice and soft. Um, yes. You can see there's some good squish there. It does have a different feel than the other one. Definitely being a hundred percent cotton. Um, this one, they recommend a four millimeter crochet hook and knitting needles. This one's called Summer Rain. So did you have some patterns to show in this one as well? Yes, we do. Awesome. Let me make sure that I am. Honestly, both of these projects, I think that we can, we've done a a class in the past maybe mm -hmm. in this tote bag if not we've definitely done one in ripple cakes before that you can check back in michael's youtube and find some of these past classes in ripple cakes because i know that they've been major fan favorites for mm -hmm. a while that tote bag especially really shows off the beauty of this yarn i think so much just the way those stripes really the way they stack up in that one that's such a pretty stitch pattern too absolutely Yes, both beautiful. Looks like the one on the right might be made out of the colorway I'm holding. I, real close. <laughs> I, it is. Excellent. That's so pretty. And I mean, she's wearing them with jeans, but, and we've talked a little bit about cotton and warmer weather, but of course, cotton can be very warm in the winter as well. And it's nicely breathable. That's what I like about it. I feel like, um, you know, especially in the winter, we're indoor, we're outdoor, we're indoor, we're outdoor, you know, cold office, cold store, you know, hot car back and forth. Um, yeah. Having something breathable, even in the winter can be so nice, especially if you're wearing a little tank or something underneath, you can always make something like that with this as well. Absolutely. Yay. Awesome. And it looks like there are some more patterns being dropped into the chat as well. So if you're watching live, you'll want to make sure and grab those. Um, and of course, you can find yarns for all these um, on yarn spray or patterns, I should say, for on yarnspirations.com for all of the yarns that we're talking about today. Um, and of course, that's a great and exciting thing when there's a new yarn. If you've got a favorite tote bag pattern that uses, you know, a three or a four weight, Try one of these yarns in that pattern as well. You'll get a whole new effect. They're all so different and interesting. Which brings us to something a little different from the last one, which would be Karen Tea Cakes. Look at that. That is some rich, deep, gorgeous color. It's funny they're called tea cakes because when I was looking through the colors, there's five different colors of this one available right now. And the words dark and stormy were exactly what came to mind. This one is called smoked fruit. And look at that. That is 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So for those who are looking for some wool content there in their yarn, this is a really gorgeous cake. Um, you can see right away, it's quite a bit thicker than the last one. This is a six super bulky weight yarn. So it's going to be a little bit smaller than your Bernat blanket, but it's going to be a bit bigger than your average bulky. You can see a little bit right there. For this one, they recommend an eight millimeter or a USL crochet hook or knitting needles, I believe. Yes, eight millimeter knitting needles as well. So this is what, whoop, let me turn this around there the right way. <laughs> there we go. That is what our tea cakes label looks like. So you wanna look for this one in store. Isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love these colors. I love pastels, but I know personally, it's the jewel tones that always call out to me. And these are really gorgeous. Now this one, as you can see, also a big cake, but it's also a thicker yarn. So while it is also 8.5 ounces, this one has 204 yards because again, it is a super bulky yarn, but I will say for a six super bulky yarn, 200 yards is a pretty good amount of yardage for sure. Absolutely. 
and that wool, you can really, I think you can really kind of see the wool in this one. It definitely looks like it has some wool in it. And honestly, 8020 is one of my favorite wool blends. Um, this one is listed hand wash, lay flat to dry, but that 80% acrylic is really going to help it last and stand up to the wear and tear of daily life, I find. Um, having you know that 80-20 blend is really nice. It gives you that feel without getting overly itchy or you know overly delicate, I guess you could say. But this one is just so pretty. I can't wait to get some more, my hands on some more of these colors. Um, so what patterns do we have available right now for this one? So we have a lot of great patterns that are in some shades that you might not be seeing on shelves right now um, because this is a yarn that has kind of it's been around before in the past and has come back, but we have some really great, uh, seeing this this one right here worked up really is just Ooh. pretty spectacular. Yeah. Oh, look at those chunks of color. Um, we've been talking a little bit about, you can see in the skein, the thickness of those stripes. You can really see, especially on the right there, how, how nice big chunks of color you get with this yarn. And that's crochet, right? That is. And so you get the hat with um, just one ball. I would even beg to say you could definitely get one hat with just one ball of mm -hmm. this. And then the scarf is actually um, just two balls. That's awesome. That's so phenomenal. That's such a great deal, um, especially this time of year. That's what we want, right? It's really quick projects that work up. And yes. these look like, um, you know, like I say, it's a six, a super bulky yarn. You're going to be using an eight millimeter crochet hook or needles. This is going to be a beautiful um, yarn to create gifts with. Absolutely. Awesome. And there are five different colorways in this one. I think there's um, a really nice neutral, sort of neutral toned one. Um, but overall, definitely, if you like more jewel tones and, you know, sort of like I say, dark and stormy is what they made me think of right away when I was looking at it. Um, this is a great one for that, absolutely. And I just love the name Smoked Fruit. How, how great is that? It's so it's descriptive. Fantastic. Awesome. So did we have any, I forgot to ask, do we have any questions about the cotton ripple cakes or the tea cakes? If you had questions about those, go ahead and drop those in the comments here and we'll try and get those answered. Ooh, there we are. Let me see. Very different, Very different yarns right there. Very light, very heavy <laughs> in every sense. Perfect. I don't see any questions right now. Definitely feel free to drop your questions in the chat. And we'll also be adding in um, links to all of the patterns that you're seeing as well. Awesome. All right. Well, heading away from the dark and stormy again, let's yes. talk about the Karen baby cakes. Um, this one is, as you can see, definitely baby colors. There are some other ones. This is probably, I'd say one of the brighter ones, wouldn't you say? Definitely. I feel like yeah. the other ones kind of are on that more modern baby nursery kind of look, a little bit more yeah. muted. Yeah, a little more pastel. This one has a little bit more brightness. You can see no wool in this one, which, you know, I think for a baby, yarn is pretty appropriate. This one is 82% acrylic and 18% nylon. What that nylon is going to do is actually give it a little bit more wear and tear. It's going to give it a little bit more stretch and a little bit more durability. Um, this one is machine washable and dryable. So important when you're making projects for a baby, right? I always say, you know, when you're making things for a baby, you can use whatever yarn you want, but I always like to make sure it's machine washable and dryable because when you make a gift for someone, you know, especially if they've got a newborn baby, the last thing you want to do is give them a bunch of extra chores, having to hand wash and reshape and lay flat to dry. Grab the baby yarns, or at least grab the yarns that are machine washable and dryable, acrylics, polyesters. This one is a perfect example. This is a four medium weight yarn. You can see it's going to be another self-striping. You can really see those chunks there. It's got some great squish and a great feel to it. You know, the addition of that nylon really kind of smooths it out, I think, a little bit more. And it really has just a nice, great, great feel. It feels like it's going to wear really well. It's going to put up with all the things that the baby can dish out, you know, all that life. Um, and it's got some great yardage at well as well. Again, eight and a half ounces. Looks like most of these have about the same weight, 
but because this is a four weight and it's acrylic and nylon, you're going to get 560 yards. Again, how phenomenal is that? That is more than enough to make a baby sweater in one skein and probably a hat to match, possibly a couple sweaters, one for newborn size and one the next size up. That is an amazing amount of yardage for a baby skein. So you can definitely get your blankets, your baby garments. It's a four weight again, so lots of baby sweaters. Um, you know, you can definitely search your inspirations.com. Any, I'd say any medium worsted weight baby sweater or baby item would be beautifully worked up in this yarn. Absolutely. Awesome. So what patterns do you have to show off in this one so far? We have a couple that are in slightly different shades. So I did just want to call that out, but they are very close to the shades that you'll see in stores right now. Um, and I, this photo just doesn't even do this blanket justice, mm. but it is fantastic. I love that. That's gorgeous. It looks like it's knit. Um, is it mitered? This one sure. here on the right, I think mm -hmm. is, it is knit and I think it is a corner. Hmm. It might be mitered. Yeah, there's something happening there in the middle, but it is very pretty. It's worked it's, in four yeah. pieces, corner ah. to corner. Okay, very cool. That's such a neat effect. I love those colors together. And I love that I know that the skein is doing that work, you know, Absolutely. that you're not having to buy all those colors and figure out which ones go together. It's all done for you. And of course, that blanket on the left is also super cute. I love that braided effect that you can get with crochet. It's such a great touch in this one. Yep. And the circular shape, it's yeah. like, if you want to do a blanket that's a standout that, you know, no one is going to see, I feel like a circle, a unique shape there is, is perfect. Absolutely. And I really love um, round circular baby blankets. Um, they're just so great for kind of tucking around those edges, right? Um, especially here in the winter. Um, I know just getting, it's been a while since mine were this little, but just getting from the house, the car seat from the house to the car, those cores are so cold. And of course you can't use blankets, you know, you gotta be really careful with safety regulations for babies and things, but you've gotta be able to throw something over that baby carrier. And round blankets are such a great choice actually, because those corners are always what get caught and get dragged and get caught into everything. And round is actually really nice because you don't have those corners trying to get away from you and escape from the baby carrier. See, you always have the mom <laughs> hacks here. <laughs> It helps. I'm just saying, I love it. And I always say too, you know, if you don't have a baby to crochet for a lot of those baby blankets make a wonderful lap blanket for anyone who is wheelchair bound or just, you know, a little older and gets a little chilly. Or honestly, I've kept a couple that I've made under my office desk for in the winter time when my lap gets cold. They're also the right size. So even if you don't have, you know, a baby that you want to crochet for, you can definitely pick up those patterns and um, make them for lots of adults as well, you know? Absolutely. Baby blankets do make the perfect dust blanket. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay. Well, so once again, that is Karen Baby Cakes. If you have any questions about that one, please go ahead and drop those in the chat. Um, again, this is a four medium worsted weight yarn. So super compatible with a ton of patterns. Let me pull a oh, a thread, a string, <laughs> a bit of the yarn out here. You can see kind of a standard worsted weight. It's got a really nice feel to it. It's nicely soft. It's not going to irritate the baby at all. And it is very pretty. So again, you can get that at Michaels or michaels.com if you want to get larger quantities, but it does have 560 yards per cake. So that one is pretty phenomenal. Um, did we have any questions about that one pop up in the chat? I've just seen quite a few people saying how much they love baby cakes yeah. and that they really love that they're not all like girly or mm -hmm. like the colors are really kind of, it can be whatever you want, really. They're absolutely. all just really fun multis. Yeah, absolutely. It is a really fun one. I love the yardage on that, especially for baby items. It's so fantastic. All right, well, next, this one is beautiful. Karen Marble Cakes. Let me get that label up there so you guys can see that one. You can see this one also advertises no wool. 
So if you're not a wool fan, this one is another great option. This one is also a four medium weight and it is 100% acrylic. Isn't that gorgeous? All of these marble cakes, there's five different colorways I believe out right now, or will be coming to your store soon. And they're all mixed with a cream color. So they all have these really gorgeous stripes going on, but then they've got the cream all the way throughout. It almost looks like there's two yarns just wound together here. Let's pull out a string here. Hopefully we can get that one a little bit closer there, get that to focus in. You can really see how it almost reminds me like sort of that butcher's twine sort of look, um, sort of rustic and sort of homespun. Um, and again, it's called Marble Cakes right there. So this one, like I said, is a four medium weight acrylic machine washable and dryable again. So I think this one looks very sophisticated. Um, so you can definitely get from that really sophisticated look without, you know, and still have the machine washable and dryable for sure. Um, this one is 404 yards. You can see it's got some really great squish as well, but it just creates a really different look. You can see it's plied just a little bit differently. It's plied, I'd say, just a little bit looser than your standard yarn. And it's going to create a really gorgeous look for so many projects. I think this one would be absolutely stunning in a bag. Um, you could absolutely use it for garments, whatever you like. This particular colorway is called Rosewater Plum. And I just, I really love how it's self-striping, but the colors, are also related. You know, you're still kind of in that purple pinky family right there. And I think that's just like I say, it's really pretty and just a really, I think a little bit more sophisticated way to do a self striping. So what I'm really curious to see what patterns we have available for this one. We have one that is just an absolute stunner that I'm very excited. I've seen it in person. So if you make this, I know I can tell you that it's just absolutely stunning. Mm. Wow, that's gorgeous. I mean, they're both beautiful, but wow. Yeah, really oh. so pretty. I Sophisticated is definitely the, absolutely the right word for this. Yes, absolutely. Um, do you know happen to know the names of either of these patterns? I know yes. people are going to ask. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, this one on the left is the Karen Climbing Cables Knit Blanket. And this one on the right is the Karen Crochet Quilt. Ah, very beautiful. And I wanna point out too, there is a label on the patterns. There's also a, it looks like knit, yes, a knit turtleneck sweater available in this yarn as well yes. um, that you might be able to get on the label itself. And it looks like that one goes from an extra small up through a five X extra large. So, um, and it only takes three to five balls of yarn to make a whole sweater in it. So I would imagine it's probably somewhat similar for the blankets, depending on, you know, crochet or knit there. Yes, I think yes. that the, this climbing cables blanket actually uses six balls. Okay. Um, I will say it is a, it feels like a weighted blanket. <laughs> mm, yeah. It yes. definitely feels like a weighted blanket. Um, and then this crocheted quilt, which I'm not sure if you can see it, if you can tell, but it has um, like vintage quilts. It has kind of a star mm. inset in mm -hmm. right here. Um, so it uses, ooh, it uses seven balls of your main color and two balls of the French vanilla color. Gotcha. Well, it looks like that one's made in squares that are then joined together. Yes. So that one is going to be great too. That's a great option to customize the size of your blanket. Once you've made one square, you know how big those squares are. So you can totally adjust the size of your throw. Um, blankets like that are so great for things you can make anywhere, you know, from a little baby blanket, lap blanket, all the way up to a king size blanket as you want. Oh yeah. Um, just adding or subtracting the number of squares. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this one, this pattern, the finished size is actually 64 by 64 inches. So pretty big. Yeah, that would Definitely be a very generous blanket. Really large. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Well, this, like I said, I, that is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, I love this purple, but that the neutrals there on the left with the knit version, that is really gorgeous as well. 
And we have a nice variety of projects here on Y.com in it as well. We have a basket, a hat, um, crochet cardigan, knit cardigan. So mm -hmm. really some great options there. Yeah, and I've been seeing, I see the the one on the label here is um is a knit turtleneck and turtlenecks have been so popular lately. They seem to really be coming back into style. Absolutely. And honestly, awesome. that does make a great begin, you know, beginner plus. Mm -hmm. If you're ready to start your first garment, I feel like that's a great one to to go for. Right. And the the subtle shading, I think, or rather the subtle uh color changes and striping here means you're going to have a little bit more leeway too when you do something multi-skein with it um to go ahead and join you know wherever that skein that next skein wants to begin um if i am doing a multi-skein project with a self-striping yarn like this sometimes i'll take the yarn and sort of line them up so i know like if one ends on a green the next one starts on a green and get them pre-planned that way but with this one i feel like it's just subtle enough that you might not have to do that you know it's just so right all in that color family. It's going to make it just a little bit easier to work with there. Absolutely. Awesome. So do we have any questions about this one? Let me take a look. All right. Let's see, I'll get that sweater sort of centered up there so you can see really gorgeous. This you can tell um, by looking at the way the stripes go on this one, it looks like it's probably a raglan style top down so you get that striping across the shoulders there and then right on down the sleeves that is really beautifully done sam said that they really love marble cakes because of the effect so that they don't actually have to stitch with two strands held together yes yes yeah yeah if you love that look this is a great way to get that without having to do the uh you know having to mess around with those two strands, which can be always a little bit of a challenge. But yeah, this one is absolutely gorgeous. Awesome. All righty. Well, let's see. Up next, um, the last three yarns that I have to talk about today are all sort of the ones that are promotional yarns. And Ali, maybe you can better explain than I what that means. Um, so these ones will just be, you'll see that blue spot on them that say available for a limited time. So just that they they won't be on the shelves quite as long as as some others so just kind of you gotta get them while they're there awesome all righty and these i've noticed too um say color me bold collection so this yes. is sort of it's fun they're sort of themed like this they all have a little bit more bold colors but the first one we wanted to talk about today was karen spice cakes this one right here there we are you can see it's got another little thing right there. This one says unique gradient effect. There we are. So this one is called do, 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 Indigo Go. Indigo Go. <laughs> there we go. And it's got this really unique effect. It's really similar in a way to the marble cakes where it looks like there's two colors twisted together. But this one is going to be three colors mixed together. It's actually three plies. Let me see if I can pull a little strand out here where we can see that a little more clearly. If I untwist it and then hold it in my hand in just the right way, we can get it to show up here on camera maybe. There we go. It's kind of hard to see. I'll try and untwist it here. Oops, wrong way. You can see maybe there's three different plies there. You don't want to pull apart here while I'm holding them up at the same time. There we go. So you can see it's three strands of yarn all wound together. So what this means is that not only does it create this really unique gradient effect, but it means that no two are going to be exactly the same. Every single one of these is going to be a little bit unique. And you can see just how beautiful this is. It's a rich, deep color, very bold. And like I say, every single cake is going to be absolutely unique so you can definitely pick up a bunch of the same colorway but they're not all going to be exactly the same and again that makes it even easier to continue on with a new color this one has a really lovely feel as well this one feels like wool but it is 100 percent acrylic i think this is one definitely has a wool look to it but it is 100 percent acrylic so very easy you can machine wash and dry it 
easy to care for. It's got some great squish to it. It's got a great hand feel. Like I say, it feels like a really expensive yarn, honestly. And this one is a six. Again, this is a super bulky. So it is on the thinner side of those. So you could probably play around a little bit with a five. Did my, did my label have the wrong information, Allie? Um, nope, this is a six. Okay, just double checking. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yep. I saw your face and I was like, uh-oh, did I have the wrong information? Nope. All nope. right, just double checking. So this is going to be a thinner six. Now that is sort of the, um, just the nature of the different weights of yarn. Each one of those numbers, you know, one, two, three, four, we say four is medium, five is bulky, six is super bulky. There's a range in there. So this is going to be a thinner bulky or super bulky, I should say, for sure. But it's going to allow you to still work up those projects pretty quick. So for this one, they also recommend an eight millimeter crochet hook or knitting needles. And again, it is eight ounces for this one and 239 yards which is again, is pretty great, especially in a super bulky. And I just look at that color. You can see it's almost like it's self-striping, but there's just so much going on. You can see every single one is just gonna be that little bit different. This particular colorway, again, Indigo Go. Machine, washable, dryable. You don't wanna iron it because it is acrylic, but it's going to work up beautifully and it's going to hold its shape and it's going to wear really well. So what patterns do we have featuring this one? Oh, we have some really fun ones that I feel like really shows off this color variation. Let me show you here. Ooh, the bee stitch. Now that's a knit stitch I'm not familiar with, but that is really pretty. I really love this combination of the color colorful and you're more neutral. Mm -hmm. I feel like it really pops out. And I feel like the nice thing about this one is it would be very forgiving to any, um, any mistakes. Absolutely. Yeah. I think these color changes and the very, the, the are sort of, what do they call it? Gradient the gradient effect are really going to kind of, yeah, like you say, hide anything. It's just going to look like a beautiful, beautiful field of color. And then we have, Ooh, interesting. Okay. So this, this is corner to corner crochet. I really, I mean, you can really tell here how, you know, it uses five balls of the, the Indigo Go, mm -hmm. but you can tell how different each one looks and it kind of gives that. Yeah. It's, it's going to create a completely custom, unique heirloom quality garment. And it looks like this is maybe a moss stitch corner to corner. I think so. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and this one, it looks like is 48 inches square, which is amazing for just five balls of yarn, a blanket that's this solid. You can see this one's not lacy at all. So if you're somebody who doesn't like your toes poking through your crocheted blanket, this one would be a perfect choice. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that. Um, and you can see that one's made with the color I've got. So you can see how that works up. And it really, I think this is one of those skeins that really kind of shows the yarn true to the way it works up. Every Absolutely. once in a while, you'll see something in a skein. You're like, hmm, I don't know how that's going to look once it's worked up. But this one really looks like the way it looks. Absolutely. I think this close up here really shows some of the gr just really show us the detail of the yarn there. Absolutely. And with this pattern, you're not going to have to worry about, you know, making sure you end a row with one skein before you add another one. You can just keep going from one skein to the next, and it's going to be really beautiful. And I love how different the one on the right looks. Um, obviously, it's a different pattern, but you can see um, just between the colorways how really unique they all are. Absolutely. I mean, this one, it really looks this one, you kind of have an all over variation, whereas this one, it's like pops every once in a while, which I mm. love. And honestly, I mean, this blanket, the cabled crochet, I'm going to get the, I'll get the name for you all because I know you're going to ask. And it is just it's the it Karen woven cable crochet throw. Very pretty. 
And I think there are eight colorways total of the spice cakes. So more than even the two we've seen here. And I love the little detailing too of the tassels. That's so pretty in this yarn. Absolutely. And of course, the great thing about tassels is if you're not a tassel person, you can just leave them off. They're always optional. Yes. You never have to add tassels. No, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> always optional. So for all those who say, ah, but I don't want tassels or fringe, don't add them. It's okay. It's totally fine. Once again, that is that yarn right there. So we'll give you a minute. Do you have any questions about these spice cakes? Go ahead and drop those in the chat. Get a look there. Sam saying that they are just loving the season's colors and I absolutely agree because I feel like there's something yes. for everybody. Absolutely. And you know, it's funny, the ones we've been looking at have been had such a great variety, but they're all really beautiful. I kind of feel like my box was themed a little bit towards the purples, but I'm not complaining. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see all these darker ones almost really play off each other so beautifully. All righty. So let's see, get all these skeins sorted out here. Time to bring on the big guy. Anniversary cakes. Oh, let me turn it. There we go. Karen anniversary cakes. Bigger than my head. Don't eat it in one sitting. Yes. Holy cow. This one is a big guy. Um, certainly more than eight and a half ounces. This one is 35.3 ounces of yarn. Look at this, it's got a little extra packaging to help keep it safe. It's got that end tacked down for you, which is amazing. You can see this one is also self-striping and it is just plain huge. There we go. Oh my gosh, so pretty. This one, see people talked about the colorway already. This one is blue hues, but there are some really gorgeous ones this year. And you've probably seen the anniversary cakes before. They've been doing them for a couple of years, but they change every year. And this year there's these self-striping ones like you see here. I don't have one, but there's also some really fun ones that are, I think they're called dots. There are four dots colorways and seven striping colorways. And the dot ones are definitely like a small sort of party variegated and they just look like mm -hmm. so much fun. Absolutely. So look at that, it's huge. It is a super bulky six weight yarn. So another eight millimeter crochet hook or knitting needle yarn. Let me pull this end out just a little bit here. I don't want to lose it, so I'm going to leave it attached to the sticker. You can see the thickness there of this guy. And it's just one color at a time. So it's going to create that really great self striping, solid self striping, if you will, effect right there. And let's see. So it's a six super bulky, like I said, eight millimeter crochet hook, eight millimeter knitting needles, machine washable and dryable because it is 100% acrylic. 35.3 ounces is 1,000 grams of yarn. So for the yardage, 1,061 yards of yarn, all in one skein. You could easily make a lap blanket, a baby blanket out of one, maybe two of these, if you really want to make something a little bigger, but you can crochet for days before you have to switch skeins of yarn. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it's just so fun. Now this one is called Blue Hues, but you can see it's got a little bit of purple in there too. I think it's showing up on camera, at least on this end, pretty true to color. And it is just really lovely. It's got, again, some great squish to it. You can see it is a plied yarn right there. Looks like maybe two plies together. And like I say, this is one of the seven striping ones. And then there are four that have the dots. And of course, there's plenty of yarn uh, room on this label for a pattern to be on the inside. That's for sure. So you've got this really beautiful blanket right here featured that takes just two balls of yarn. Just two balls. And it's called the Blue Waves Crochet Blanket. So you can find that on the label or of course on yarnspirations.com and more patterns there but that gives you a look at that blanket and there's another look at that yarn so do we have any patterns featuring our anniversary cakes this year yes we do and 
I feel like a broken record. You're like, you can't possibly love all of these, but, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You can never have enough crochet blankets or knit ones. And I, this one just really, honestly, it sells this color colorway mm -hmm. for me. <laughs> Absolutely. It looks like that's the Koi Pond colorway. So a little bit more colorful. I think that's probably one of the uh, most colorful, well, of the self-striping, I should say. Yes, absolutely. Very cool. And that is a really pretty stitch. Going to be a little bit lighter. Um, so, you know, if you want your blankets a little bit lighter, that's having that lace pattern in there is going to do that. Um, and it, But it looks like it's made out of relatively simple stitches. And yeah, I mean, you could just keep crocheting and crocheting and crocheting and make a whole blanket with four, only two balls of yarn, four ends, the yarn's gonna do all that self-striping work for you. Absolutely. And then we have um, this one, Ooh. which we have a couple of other patterns that showcase these new dots yarns that I think are very fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the way this one combines the dots with the uh, with the self striping. That's such a great effect. It almost makes me think of a um, uh, what am I thinking? Is it tweed yarns? The ones that have the little dots on them sometimes, mm -hmm. but you're not. But those dots aren't going to pull off. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are in there. Yes, for sure. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever used those tweed yarns. For every once in a while, you hit one where it's like the, they want to come apart a little bit. You're going to be able to get that look, and it's going to last because it's acrylic. It's washable. It's dryable. It's not going to come apart on you. That is really cool. And this one is a pretty big blanket too. It's 54 by 62. So with only four skeins of yarn. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Probably not the project that you want to bring on the go with you though, unless no. you're okay with yeah. carrying a duffel bag around. Yes. This is, um, you know, maybe over the woods to grandmother's house um, this fall and winter, but that's when you're already packing some luggage. Um, mm -hmm. On the other hand, you know, if, if you're working with just one skein of at a time, you only have to bring the one skein with you. You're probably not going to use more than one while you're away from home. Absolutely. <laughs> so all you need is your hook and your yarn and your pattern. You won't need all your other notions and accessories while you're out and about. Absolutely. And then there's another pattern in here that I wanted to give you some close-ups of. This pillow. Mm -hmm. That is really neat. That is really, that's an amazing effect. I love that. I, when I first saw this pillow back, you know, I saw the photo kind of earlier this fall. I was like, I, I cannot wait. It's just, yeah, it's so fun. So I noticed it's made with the moss stitch um, or, you know, linen stitch. It goes by a few different names in crochet, the granite stitch, um, linen stitch, all the same thing. But I noticed those are often used with planned pooling. And that seems like a little bit of what's happening here. Yes, and it's made, honestly, I probably would have to just read through the whole pattern here, but it's made and then you fold it kind of like an envelope in the back. Oh, neat. Very cool. Yeah, the construction on this is amazing. Um, it's very eye-catching and sort of mesmerizing. <laughs> uses only one ball. Wow, that is amazing. I mean, just being able to get all those colors and all that color play going in just one ball of yarn and all those effects. Absolutely. That is a work of art. The Yarn Inspiration design team constantly blows me away with the different patterns they come up with. Um, that is really stunning. That is such a neat effect. Amazing. I love that. Awesome. So once again, that is your anniversary cakes this year. So go ahead and get your questions in the comments here about those. You can see this is the self-striping. And that was the Karen Woven Look Crochet Blanket was one of those, all those other patterns. And then of course, you've got yet another one right there on the label. So we've got one more to go tonight. Karen Cakes, <laughs> simple and straightforward, right? Feels a little bit anticlimactic, but it is not. This is part of the Color Me Bold limited edition ones. So these are the Karen Cakes you're going to want to get now. So this is the Karen Cakes you've come to know and love, but in new colorways. So as the other ones are, they are 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So another one that has that sort of woolly look and finish to it. Um, 
a lot of some, it seems like yarns that have a little bit more wool content sort of have a little bit more of a matte look. You can see it's still very bright, but it's not shiny. It's a little bit more of a matte look, but it feels really nice. You can see too, that wool seems to just add a little bit extra squish to it. It's got a really firm cake with again, some self-striping colors in there, some really nice bold stripes. And this one is definitely, I think, a very bold color. This one is called Fruit Frosting, which is really fun. But there are six shades of this one in the promotional set here, the Color Me Bold set. And bold is definitely the word. They are bold, they are colorful, and they are just a lot of fun. There we go. So this one is a four medium weight yarn, um, 8.5 ounces, 445 yards inside this one. This one is just really, again, bold, colorful, just a lot of fun, um, very youthful, I'd say, colorway. You could do a lot of fun things. This one to me really screams tote bag for some reason. I don't know what it is about these colors. They really want to be a tote bag to me. Um, but they recommend a five millimeter crochet hook um, or knitting needles for this one. You can see my ends already coming out here, the middle. So we'll go ahead and hold this one up here so you can see the thickness on that one. And that is a four medium weight yarn right there. Some really bold, bold and beautiful colors. Um, let's see what else this is because it does have small content. This one is labeled to hand wash and lay flat to dry. So these would be a really fun one to make something for yourself or for maybe, you know, some of those accessories that we don't tend to wash every time we wear them, like hats and scarves, you know, we tend to wear them for a whole season and then, or a tote bag, you know, and then you can wash it once and sort of lay it flat to dry in the spring. So really, really gorgeous colors there. And of course, acrylic is always a great option for, um, Anything, that little bit of 20% wool is just gonna elevate it and take it to the next level. So you can see a little bit of that texture there. It does have a little bit more of that fuzzy feel to it. And like I said, you can see here how it's really, really matte, which I think the wool tends to help with bring down the shine that you can get so often with acrylic. It's even a little bit more matte, I think, in person than it shows up on screen. But you can feel that texture of the wool in there. It's not quite as slick. So it's got that wool feel to it right there. And of course, like I say, there are six different of these promotional Color Me Bold colorways of the Karen Cakes. So I'm sure, um, again, you can look at these new patterns, but all the other patterns for all the past patterns for Karen Cakes, you can try out the new colors in those as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the patterns for this one, the new ones. Absolutely. This one really, this is the pattern to sell you that yarn that's in your hand right there. Yes. Holy <laughs> cow. Okay, that turns it into something so much more sophisticated than it looks in this game. This is one that looks yes. amazing worked up. Yes. It really does. I mean, it has that kind of retro vibe to it that mm -hmm. I feel like does not come necessarily come across when you're just looking at it in the cake. Yeah. Yeah. That is a beautiful use of the colorways available in the cake, though. It really is. That's gorgeous. And it looks like this one is made with strips that are then stitched together, which means this is going to be a great travel pattern as well. Um, you know, it's, we were talking about traveling with some of these giant skeins of yarn and stuff. When you work up a blanket like this in strips, it's really easy because it's just the same as basically working on a scarf when you're on the go or in the car or on the plane this holiday season. Absolutely. You can just work up those strips while you're away from home, bring them home and then sew them all together. Absolutely. I love that. That is a big blanket too at 50 by 60 inches. So that's it's, really lovely. Yeah, it's huge. And it looks like it'd be great for beginners too, because that one, this is garter stitch. Yep. Um, like I say, it's really making beginner scarves and then just stitching them all together. That's wonderful, sophisticated look that is very beginner friendly. Definitely. That's beautiful. And then we have... Ooh... This more kind of caramel fall look. Yes. Oh, these colors are so popular right now too. Absolutely. That's lovely. And this is going to be, this is crochet. I can see that um, long double crochet stitches. So 
Um, again, relatively simple stitch pattern, wonderful effect. And it looks like it's really just one long rectangle. So if you aren't interested in a wrap, this would be very easy to convert into a blanket. You just make it that much wider. Absolutely. That's beautiful. And I love just the way the colors work together. Um, it looks like this is made with four balls of yarn, um, all in the same colorway. So that makes it really lovely. Um, looks like you kind of maybe overlap those two balls a little bit while you work with them or the two different colors or the rather the one color, but maybe you work them from different sections of the yarn. Probably just yeah, because the striping <laughs> is yeah. a lot shorter. So mm -hmm. it's just, it looks so neat though. I really love it. And again, this is another project where the fringe is optional. Um, but I think it really does look really beautiful in this one. And I love the way they very purposefully chose the look of the yarn colors for the fringe in this one as well. Absolutely. And cinnamon sugar is a great name for this colorway, isn't it? Just it's everything warm and cozy in fall. It absolutely is. I love that. That's so pretty. And it's such a different look than the, you know, that really bright blanket we just saw um, really shows the range in this one quite a bit. Amazing. That's gorgeous. Yeah, you could make it narrower for a scarf, make it wider for a blanket. It looks like just a really beautiful, beautiful stitch pattern in this yarn. Awesome. Perfect. Well, okay. That was again, Karen Cakes, which is a four weight yarn. And it looks like I got lucky. And that wrap pattern is the one on my label. There you Amazing. go. So there it is. It looks like for that one, they are using four balls. And for the wrap, they're using a USJ six millimeter crochet hook. So that would be, um, the one another option for this one on the label it says five millimeter but that pattern uses a six millimeter so you've got a range of hook sizes and i'm sure needle sizes as well that will work up really well with this yarn absolutely awesome so were there any questions about this one before we sort of wrap things up here we're running out of time well amelia had said she was thinking about granny squares but then that yes. knit blanket really she said oh. the knit blanket is so much better it is. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm not, don't get me wrong. I love granny squares, but that blanket is a stunner. Absolutely. Um, always blown away with what everybody on that design team can do. So let's go over those yarns once again, just make sure you guys know what you're looking for and what you want to keep an eye out for, especially since they're a limited time. For some of them, we've got the Karen Cloud Cakes we started off with. You've got some really great um, bold ones here that are going to be for a limited time. And then you've got some really gorgeous um, jewel tones and stuff as well. I love both of these in totally different ways. Um, we've got the cotton ripple, of course. Keep your eye out for those, especially if you love cotton. Stock up on this one for summertime. This one's going to be great for totes. I really see this being used up in some beautiful tank tops, especially as a layering piece. Even then, you can wear it all year round. I think that would be really lovely. Um, tea cakes, don't want to miss out on that colorway. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, got to tell you this one, that's the smoked fruit. So, so pretty in those tea cakes, all very dark and stormy if you like that sort of look. Baby cakes, of course, amazing yardage. If you're crocheting or knitting for any babies this holiday season, you're going to be able to get practically a whole layette out of that one skein, maybe two there. Um, we've got the marble cakes. Where are they hiding from me? Here we go. The marble cakes are the ones where you've got, they're all wound with that cream color for that two-tone look throughout. Looks like two yarns, one skein. Spice cakes, everyone is going to be unique. Absolutely gorgeous, gradient effect, totally unique. No two projects the same with this one. As always, our big friend, anniversary cakes. Gotta get one or two of those on the shelf before they're gone and then we saw that knit blanket we've all got to have that knit blanket now we've got the karen cakes doesn't look doesn't look the same in the cake there as it does on the blanket but what a bold fun set of colors here you could do so many different things and it looks like probably get some very different looks with this one too depending on how you use it so those are the new karen colorways or the new karen cakes and colorways that are going to be out right now um, again these are all available at your local michaels or on michaels.com so if you need something like a sweater quantity 
go into the store, pick up one so you can make your gauge swatch and pet it and get the feel for it. And then you can order that larger quantity if you need to as well. Amazing. Awesome. Well, is there anything else you needed to get in there? <laughs> I don't think so, but we just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody for joining us. And we hope you're ready to go get some, some of your yarn shopping done. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. This has been a lot of fun. Perfect. Well, have a great rest of your Tuesday, everyone. All right. Have a great night, everybody.